Welcome to the Texas Department of Transportation, TxDOT, Houston District's public meeting for the I-10 East Planning and Environmental Linkages, I-10 East PEL study. A PEL study is an early step in the transportation development process. It is a collaborative approach that can minimize the duplication of effort, promote environmental stewardship, and help reduce costs and time delays in project completion. After reviewing the study area's existing conditions and hearing from stakeholders and members of the public, we developed a long list of potential improvements to be made to the corridor, called the Universe of Alternatives. To identify the best options for the corridor, we will conduct a tiered screening process of all of these alternatives. The I-10 East PEL study consists of 30 miles of interstate from I-69 in Harris County to State Highway 99 or Grant Parkway in Chambers County. I-10 is the southernmost continuous roadway that connects the Pacific Ocean on the west coast to the Atlantic Ocean on the east coast. One-third of that length of I-10 lies entirely within the state of Texas. Our 30-mile corridor encompasses numerous cities, communities, and businesses. It connects directly with four major regional roadways, I-69, I-610, Beltway 8, and Spur 330, and includes Port Houston, whose freight movements heavily influence traffic in the Houston region. In addition, a portion of the I-10 study limits serves as a designated hurricane evacuation route. We will use a tiered screening process to identify the best potential improvements to be made to the corridor. The first level of screening, the fatal flaw analysis, uses limited evaluation measures to screen alternatives that fail to meet the corridor goals. The alternatives that pass through the first screening are more fully developed and a second, more detailed screening is conducted. The concepts that pass this second screening are called viable alternatives. The final screening level recommends the alternatives that best meet the corridor's needs based on input from TxDOT, agencies, stakeholders, and the public. In evaluating possible improvements to the I-10 East PEL study area, we also consider what would happen if no improvements are implemented. The no-build option, the universe of alternatives developed from public comments, are grouped into six categories, no-build, improve traffic flow, promote commuter solutions, improve safety, improve multimodal options, and reduce freight vehicle conflicts. The improved traffic flow category consists of strategies such as operational improvements that manage the entry of vehicles into the highway, interchange improvements like additional direct connectors, and installing turn lanes or signal upgrades on cross streets and frontage roads. Other strategies focus on improving nearby roads by developing a bypass or improving parallel routes or adding capacity to the main lines or frontage roads. The Promote Commuter Solutions category entails strategies to relieve peak hour congestion by reducing the number of cars on the road. These include ride sharing and van pooling, implementing flexible work schedules, and adding high occupancy vehicle lanes. The Improved Safety category aims to improve safety and reduce serious crashes through installing warning sign systems to alert drivers of upcoming crashes and congestion or extending Houston's safe clear services to assist in clearing disabled vehicles. It also focuses on strategies that improve pavement, drainage, and bridges to reduce flooding and bridge strikes. The Improved Multimodal Options category includes adding bus services, such as express buses and bus rapid transit, and developing additional park and ride facilities along the corridor. It also explores passenger rail service, such as light rail, commuter rail, and high-speed rail, and looks at improving bicycle and pedestrian facilities along the corridor. The Reduce Freight Vehicle Conflicts category seeks to improve safety and mobility by reducing conflicts between freight and passenger vehicles. Strategies include managing the lane use in terms of vehicle type and speed and providing incentives for trucks to change the time, manner, or route for freight shipment. A freight shuttle system, FSS, would use the airspace above existing highways to transport freight on elevated facilities. Thank you for participating in this virtual public meeting for the I-10 East PEL study. Please remember to submit your comments by February 15th. You may also submit comments or questions at any time during the study process by contacting Stephen Gage, Textat Project Manager at 713-802-5837 or stephen.gage at textat.gov.